everyone, it's Lorelai, and welcome to another RPG Maker With tutorial. In the last video, we took a look at equipment and made Kale and Lyra a new type of armor, boots. Today, we're going to take a closer look at items. Items typically come in two flavors, consumable and non-consumable. Most of the items that are already built into the database are consumable items. So by that, I mean you can consume this potion to recover HP, or you can consume this potion to restore MP, or even down here, you can consume this item to have the number of enemies you encounter, or increase your HP by 50 points permanently. There are a lot of things you can do with items. So let's increase the maximum real quick and see what we can do here. Under basic settings, you have the same sort of settings as our armor. So the name, icon, description. Under item type, there is regular item, key item, or hidden item A and B. Regular items can be bought and sold in the shops and are going to appear in your inventory as a regular item, as opposed to a key item, which can be something that might be used for a quest or something that you want to be a little bit more important than a regular item. Under consumable, we've got yes or no, and then you can select a range. You can say who the item can affect, either none, an enemy, an ally, an enemy or an ally, or just the user. And then if it's single targets for all targets, or even a random number. And then the status of the character you're using the item on, if they have to be alive or if they're dead, maybe it's a resurrection item that you only want to be used on dead characters or unconditional, it does not matter. And then we have occasion. Occasion is when you can use the item. Always, only on the battle screen, only from the menu, or you can never use this item actually at all. Under activate, you can say what happens when you activate this item. The speed of the item, the success rate of the item, if it repeats at all, if you can gain any TP from this item, what sort of hit, certain hit, physical attack or magic attack, and then an animation that might appear when you use this item. Damage doesn't have to necessarily be damage, it can be HP damage, it can be MP damage. For potions, you would want to select HP recover. For ethers, you would want to select MP recover. And they've got HP drain and MP drain. If you do select HP damage, you are allowed to say what kind of element it is. So maybe it is a jar of fire that you are throwing at an enemy. Then you would say it's a fire type. Then under formula, we're actually going to take a closer look at this in another video because there is actually a lot here that we can go into. But assuming this is a fire jar and you just wanted to deal some very basic damage, you could just type in 100 and it will just deal 100 damage. If this was a potion, we'd change HP damage to HP recover. And then you could keep 100 as how much it recovers or change it up to 200, 300, or however much HP you want to recover. Variance adds a random change to your formula so that it's not exactly 100 every time. It's going to vary by 20%. So it might be a little bit below 100 or a little bit above 100. You could also change the variance to 0% if you don't want it to change at all, which might make sense for a potion. And then finally, you can select whether or not it can critically hit. Finally, under effects, I urge you to go through and see all that you can do here. You can make some really cool items with just playing with the effects. I think a common one might be to add or remove a state. For example, a potion that gets rid of poison. Remove state poison 100% of the time. But you can also buff yourself. You can also debuff an enemy. There's a lot you can do here. I recommend you just go through and try to get creative with what you can do. For this tutorial, we are going to make an item. I'm going to clear everything that's already here that I might have accidentally put in. And this item is actually going to be a non-consumable item. This item's going to be the King's Crystal, the actual crystal that we acquire at the end of the dungeon for our main quest. And this is going to be an actual item that gets deposited into our inventory that we'll be able to see, but not something that we can necessarily consume. So let's change the King's Crystal. How about it can be this red orb? 
And the description will be a warm crystal humming with energy. It's going to be a key item because this is part of the plot. It is a quest item. It's not gonna have a price, we can't sell it. And we're gonna say it is not consumable. For the rest of these, I'm going to change the equation to never use. And then the range doesn't necessarily matter. I'll just select none. And the rest I'm going to keep blank because it doesn't actually do anything. It's just gonna hang out in our inventory until we turn it in at the end of the game. And then I just need to press okay and we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more RPG Maker videos. I will see you in the next one. Bye.